Hello, hello, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the Lost and Damned walkthrough videos. In the previous video of the cursed stuff, Johnny becomes president of the Lost Motorcycle Club. In becoming president, he has the duty and um, obligation to continue the war with the angels of death, if not bring it to a conclusion, and navigate some other possible problems. In this video called Hitting the Pipe, Johnny is introduced to two gentlemen by Jim, and they provide some explosives of a certain nature to help Johnny um, take down the angels of death. And this is not a timed mission, but it takes a while and you can screw it up pretty easy. So let's get on with Hit the Pipe. Just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature shit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun Johnny. Brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? Ooh. You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Malk's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Be son. Later, him out. Hey. Later. What Johnny has is pipe bombs, and he's going to use them to blow up the Angel of Death vans. Now, this is not a timed mission, but it can take a lot of time. And the reason being is you have to chase down the vans, and when you get to them, um, if you drop the pipe bomb wrong, well, yeah, there can be some bad parts that happen. So I'm going to fast forward to the first, um, how shall I say, encounter with a van, and the easiest way I can say is. If you want to blow up the van, you kind of got to get ahead of it and drop the pipe bomb at the right time. So I'll fast forward to the first encounter. The angels of death will recognize you and shoot at you. The whole object is to get in front of the van and drop the pipe bomb so that it detonates properly and destroys the van. Just don't make this stupid mistake. Lock and load. That sucks. At least Johnny survived. His motorcycle's gone, and the van is gone, and, well, now uh, the mission's not ending, and uh, a car's really not a good choice, but uh, ir irony here, Johnny is now riding a hairdryer to try and complete the mission. His motorcycle is gone, and... Um, He's really low on health and no body armor. 
So this is going to be tricky, but I'm going to fast forward to the next van. Actually, not fast forward. It is really close. And again, once the angels of death recognize you, oh, hello, ladies. Once the angels of death recognize you, they're going to shoot at you. And again, the best way to do this is to get ahead of the van and drop a pipe bomb and try to time this out right. And you drop the pipe bomb and get away before you end up dead. And this should work out. Um, like I said, get ahead of the van and drop a pipe bomb and van is exploded. See, nice flaming van and no damage to Johnny. I'm going to fast forward to the next encounter. Okay, now this one, they're actually shooting out of the back of the van, but uh, drop the pipe bomb and boom. Yeah, the van is gone. Again, get ahead of the van, drop the pipe bomb, and hope it detonates while the van is passing over it. And onward to the next encounter. Ironically, this last van is on the highway when the rest were on city streets. Again, just get up ahead, drop the pipe bomb, boom, auto save. And then you get a call from Jimmy at some point while trying to leave the damn highway here. And Jimmy calls and you tell him the everything is good. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Let's get yeah, Malcolm and Deshaun are good guys. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry or Clay a call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. Now it's time to get Johnny some body armor and rest so that he can heal up. Um, Johnny will get a call from Elizabetha or a text and she, he will have to go over to her uh, apartment again and uh, basically do another mission with Malcolm and Deshaun, which again brings things into um, the world of Nico. A uh, real pain in the ass is trying to get off the highway here. And yeah, this bike is not that fun to ride. But hey, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 uh, subscribers. And I don't know if I've made it this far because I've recorded this video way ahead of time before posting but if i have i'm happy and i thank all the subscribers who are subscribing i appreciate it it's time to get things going with my channel a little bit maybe monetize it and the more likes more subscribes that i have the more youtube bumps me in the algorithms and Hopefully things will start hopping. Again, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Um, as always, thanks for stopping by.